to demonstrate you guys you can make these super fire punch hole film ring effect transitions that was a crazy effect to say but if you guys don't know me my name is jacob i run the tiny tape shop where we sell editing plugins presets and a bunch of stuff like that so if you guys are interested in leveling up your visuals go check out my website down below we got some fire stuff on there let's hop right into the video so opened up in the timeline here we have the net spend nothing like you music video pulled up and to get started on this effect it is actually super simple to do we're going to go over to our browser and open up google images here now if you guys search up punch hole film or anything along the lines of that like punch hole transition punch hole anything you'll get a bunch of these images now we're going to take this one right here we're going to save it as and save it onto our computer now that it's saved onto our computer i brought it inside of premiere pro by dragging and dropping and we're going to drag it into our timeline here if we go ahead and zoom in you guys can see it's super scaled up so we're going to click on it go over to effect controls right here and then scale out and you pretty much want to put it wherever you want let's say i want to put it like right here and don't worry about the areas that aren't filled we could fill that in right now just by going over to project and creating a new item in the bottom right creating a block video and then dragging it below the punch hole and you guys can see it's filled in just like so now what you want to do next is highlight both of them right click go over to nest and then hit OK. And then for this transition, we actually want to make it only like one or two frames. So I'm going to bring our playhead over here and then move to the left two frames and then press C on our keyboard to bring up the cut tool. Click to cut. We're going to press V on our keyboard to go back to the regular tool. Click on the rest of our clip and then hit the delete button. And we just have this two frame clip right here of the film punch hole. Now, next, what you want to do is go over here. Click this again. We're going to create a color map this time. We're then going to hit OK, bring it down to white, hit OK hit okay again and we're going to drag this white color mat into the timeline and we're going to cut it so it's also two frames and then bring it right in front of this effect right here now that we have both of these we're going to highlight them and bring them over right where our transition is between our two clips and you guys can see this is without the transition and then this is with it if you think it's a little bit too slow for you i do mine at one frame sometimes so we're going to go ahead and change that to one frame there and we'll play it back Super simple, but also super hard at the exact same time. Looks really great, really easy to do as well. We actually just released a brand new punch hole film effect transition pack that you guys can see here in the top right. If I go ahead and play these through for you guys, you guys can see these are absolutely crazy and you don't have to do any of the animating yourself. They're fully transparent. All you have to do is drag in them and drop them inside of your video and you get these crazy transitions. If you guys are interested in checking this out, I'll leave one of them linked in the description below for absolutely free. But the pack is over on my website and if you guys use code 15 off, you'll get yourself 15% off this crazy pack. Some of my favorite ones in here are the hearts. If we go ahead and put this in between two clips, you guys can see how fire this looks. And the coolest part is, is if you don't like the color green, you can open up Lumetric Color, open up Curves here, go down to Hue versus Hue, click anywhere, and then just drag around. And you guys can change the color to anything you want. Let's say you want like this little like reddish color here. All you have to do next is go up to Basic Correction and then just crank the saturation afterwards to make it a lot more red. And you can play with all this stuff as well to tweak it to your liking. These are super fire, really crazy to use. If you guys are interested, go check them out. They're on my website. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Peace.